Nasty C is a renowned South African rapper, songwriter, and an entrepreneur. We, as LLX, bring you Nasty C's best boys on Zuluman with some power. And you definitely don't want to miss this one out because we will be debunking them, of course. So, sit back and enjoy. Well, of course, all of this after this. Well, as you may know, right here on Zero Lakes, we don't waste any time. We just get on the business of the day. But yeah, it's just a disclaimer before I start. It was not easy compiling this ones because, man, the kid really brought some fire bars throughout the whole project. But we managed to get five out of the whole project. And man, 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 you will be surprised at some of them, of course. Let's get on with number 5 because you'll be going all the way to number 1. At number 5, it goes like this. We will be starting with track number 15 on the project of which is titled Buku Bucks, eh, 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 which features Lil Kid and Lil Got It. Got it? Well, let's move. Well, Nessie on the first verse comes out and says that. Uh, I can't be caught out by no low stakes when my name in their mouth like it's cold gate. What does it mean? Well, to many South Africans, it might have been easy to get this one, but this is why it is one of the best, right? Because of the following. As you know that uh, in South Africa, people tend to call any toothpaste Colgate because it was the most popular toothpaste back in the days. So people started calling any toothpaste. Colgate. Well, of course, Nasty C mean that uh, in this line that uh, people talk about him a lot, saying both good and bad things when he says, when my name in their mouth, like it's Colgate. Meaning that uh, people constantly, vele vele, have Nasty C's name in their mouth as, uh, and they are always, 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 ba 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 is sitting at number five one of the best ones it is south african so south african i love it the countdown continues well at number four it is a king shit this song is the first song on the project of course and uh, it was number one in the world when this album dropped on that day i remember when you asked siri on that day on which song was number one in the world it was king shit. Well, Nasty C on this song comes out and says, You take the crown, you take the yang and the ying. Defend the title, I'ma stay in the ring. Do you know what this means? Hmm, I don't know either, but uh, let's all find out. In its short meaning, of course, and not too complicated, this is what it means. The yin and the yang is a Chinese philosophy of duality. Nasty C implied that uh, if one intends to rise to glory, they also have to accept it for all it is, the good and the bad side. Simple as that. But did you know that? Well, you just got schooled. Let's move to number three. <laughs> nice. Well, also at number three, it is a line from the same song of which is King Shit. I'm sorry to say, but uh, the kid really brought some fire on this opening song because this is an intro to the album and it was filled with boys, 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 and boys. King Shit, King Shit. Eh, eh, eh. No, God, please, no, no! Well, of course, uh, on the first verse, Nessie comes out and says, Ice box where my heart used to be, giving rocks to the slime school with me. What does it mean? You're scratching your head right now, huh? 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 Well, let's find out. Necessity was implying and saying the following, of course. Following the line about the ice box replacing his heart, 
Nessie is sharing a piece of his heart with slimes that are cool with him, of course, meaning his fans, as in in ice cubes. Oh, boys, boys, boys. Also referred to as rocks, as you may know that uh, whiskey on the rocks, which is a term that is being used uh, generally, worldwidely, commonly. Good to yay. Give me one on the rocks, of course. Well, also, notice how Icebox is also a jewelry store. Jewelry is common, referred to as rocks, of course. Huh? Huh? Are you getting it? Well, this is what now he intends to say, continuing. He is now giving jewelry, which has replaced his love in the previous line, to those that are, of course, cool with him the slimes, the fans. Do you get it? Do you get it? <laughs> if you don't get it at this point, forget about it. But let's continue. You get it? Okay. If you don't get it, forget about it. Well, before I reveal to you the best nasty C line at number two, right? Please. I beg, I beg, please, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. It's right there down below. Do you see it? Uh, yeah, that, that one. Ah, thank you so much. And don't forget to please also like, 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 like. Hit that like button because this will help us grow the channel, huh? Please, please, please share, share, share. Talk about this. Share it as much as you can. Because, hey, man, right here on Zelda Lakes, we appreciate you. Well, at number two, I must say, I must reveal that uh, it's also one of my best lines, man. These ones. Well, it comes on the song, also on the project of which is titled Overpriced Steak. On the first verse, Nessie comes out and says, I talk like this because I listen to Wheezy every day. Might walk like Tip because that's who I rap today. Might drip like King Slime. I mean King Slime because I got me a check. This is why it's, this is my favorite. Find out. Well, of course, if you are a Nessie fan, you will understand uh, that uh, in different interviews, Nessie has uh, been revealing and mentioning that uh, the rappers that he grew up listening to were T.I. and Wheezy. And likely, of course, he has uh, managed to do two tracks with T.I., which are They Don't and All In, of which features on this album that I'm talking about right here, Zulu Man with some power, of course. And he's been wanting to have a song, of course, with Young Thug. So now, this is what happened, right? Nessie was invited on the podcast and show interview where he mentioned that uh, on the song Book Box, of which is also on this project, he did feature Young Thug Sainese on that track. So definitely, it might be. A big possibility that the young thug had the song or definitely knows about Nessie C. Well, going back now on the bars, ne? Nessie C, Angiti said, might drip like King Slime. I mean King Slime because I got me a check today. Well, he's confident that uh, he reached that level right now to be around young thug making music within, right? But here's this part that I like most about this line, right? When Nessie says this line, he switches from normal tune to auto tune when mentioning King Slime because Young Thug is best known for using it, even quoting his song, Check, showing how much he is influenced by him. Man, explosion. Did you see that one? I don't think so. Ah, that was clever. That was clever. Let's move. Well, we are definitely, definitely putting this one at number one. Why? Because this one, this specific song right here, got a lot of smoke. Especially from uh, the hip-hop community and also Nota, who was very much vocal about this one, mentioning that uh, how can an SSC speak about such a prestigious person on a song where he also says, bitch at the same time hmm how can that be possible well which song am i talking about let's find out well this deserves to be debunked for so many people of course who still 
carry the idea that Danessisi should have at least uh, had some Zulu 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 rhymes on this song. Uh, uh, uh. Let's just clarify and debunk it. Well, the song is titled Steve Biko, and I'm sure, in case you don't know, you are asking yourself who is Steve Biko. His full names are Bantu Steven Biko, who was a South African anti-apartheid activist who was part of the black consciousness movement during the late 1960s and the 1970s, of course. Well, now the question remains, why Nessusi used him? What was he meaning? What was he saying? Well, hear what uh, Nessusi was saying, right? Nessusi meant the following. He means pro-black card, referring to Steve Biko who was pro-black. But now, he means it in terms of wealth. The black card that most wealthy people use, of course. Hmm? Now, does it make sense? Ladies and gentlemen, this was Nessus's top 5 best bars on Zuluman Wisdom Power. In case you feel that there will be some boys, of course, comment down in the conversation below and let's have a conversation. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, and tell me what you think about these boys. Did you learn anything? Did you get anything? Were you also like, boy, what? Did, oh, what? All of that? Did you? Did you? Well, comment down in the conversation below. Let's have a conversation. Huh? Hit that like button. Turn your notification bell so that you become notified whenever you are dropping in Q leaks. Turn on the notification bell. Please, please, please subscribe. Hit the like button. Share, share, and share. Help us grow. Please, 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 please. And of course, don't forget to catch us on the next one. This is ZL Leaks. Till next time, thank you for watching.